So today's video, I'm going to show this uh, model shape in free cut. Uh, so this model have detail at the bottom of the handle in here and a blending surface from uh, this side, uh, the front side to the back side of the model and also have the thickness, the shelf in here. So if you want to learn how to do it, you can follow my tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so I start by creating a new document. And in the Sketcher workbench, I create a new sketch in the top view. I will draw a, a eclipse start from the center point. Go out. I select this line right here, hit V for vertical constraint. Select this uh, line again and hit I and set it to 40. Select this line, hit L, set it to 60. Now close that. Next, I create a new sketch in the front view. And I reference this one right here. And I create a uh, end poised and rim poised arc. And start from this point. And I put uh, one arc in here. And I create another arc, continue from this point. I select this point and I hit I. Set it to 95 and I click on this point right here and move this one up a little bit. Select this point and I hit I, set it to 200. Select this point and then this point and I hit L, set it to 15. Enter. Now I uh, select this arc and this arc, hit T for tangent. Select this arc and set the radius to 40. And select this boy and then this boy, hit L, 50. Now the sketch is fully constrained. I select this arc, this arc. And also this line, and I use the tool symmetry. Now I select this point, this point, and this line, and I hit S for symmetry constraint, doing the same down here. Uh, I select this point and move this one. You can see we can still move it. Now I select this point and then this point. And I set the constant constraint. All right. Now I close that. Next, I uh, create a new sketch in the right view. Also, reference this one out here, and this arc up here. Also, create a uh, arc. I select the top point and this point and hit H for horizontal constraint. Select this one and this one. Hit L. Uh, 15. Select this one and this one. Hit T for tension. Select this one. Hit I. 95. Select this one and then this one. Hit L, 24. Select this arc down here and set the radius to 500. Enter. Now doing the same, select this one and this one, and the center line and symmetry. Set a constraint 
select this point, this point, and the center line, and hit S for symmetry constraint. This one, this one, and then this one. Symmetry, hit S. Select this one, move this one out, and select these two points, and set the constraint constraint. Now close that. Next, I go to the curl shape workbench. So you can install the curl shape workbench from the tool, add on manager, and you click on the workbenches, mm -hmm. and you tap in here curl shape, or you just tap in here curve, and you click on the curl shape, and you install it, right? Now in the curl shape workbench, you uh, select this sketch first, which is the Eclipse down here, and control select the sketch 001 and 002, and just use this curl array. I go to the front view, and I select the curl array. You can see in the data, the item is 4, is 1, 2, 3, and 4 session in here. So I will increase the number of the item to 40 for more resolution. And I will change the surface option to 2. All right. And I also want to uh, turn that into the solid. So in the solid option, I change it to 2. Now you can see the bottom and the top are now closed. Okay, so next I will create uh, the detail at the bottom. Uh, so I select the array and the height. Uh, select the, the Eclipse at the bottom. Go to the product workbench. And um, to the offset, uh, 7. You can see 7 go outside, so I'll go to negative 7 because I want the offset go inside. Okay. Now I select the offset 2D and it's straight up to 3.1. I select these four lines uh, at the top and chamfer it. Um, to three. Okay, and also uh, select the chamfer and move this one down to 0 0.1, negative. And control select the curl ray and the chamfer and cut it. Now we have this detail. I uh, select these three sketch and hide. Now I go to the sketcher workbench to create the handle. I create a sketch in the front view and view the session. I create an eclipse. Uh, select the line, this line and this line, and set the angle 10. Set the distance of this line, 20. Uh, also, from this point to this point, uh, 45. And this point to this point, distance will be 130. And this point, this point, horizontal constraint, uh, distance 20. Now the sketch is fully constrained. I um, click on this eye icon to hide all of these um, constraint display. Gray and Eclipse. And also put uh, the center point on this line. Draw this one now. Uh, select this line and this line. And hit P. Parallel constraint. 
select this line and set the distance to 45 uh, select this line and set the distance 65 zoom close here select this line sorry this point and this point set the distance to 5 okay now the sketch is fully constrained again I'll close that I select the cut and the height. So I select the sketch 003 and hit Ctrl C, copy and Ctrl V to paste it. I double click on the sketch 003 and I select the outside and I turn that into construction geometry. I close that. Select the sketch 004. Select inside and turn that into construction. I call this one now. Select the cut and then show it. Uh, select the big eclipse and go to the park bench. Let's show it uh, to 100 mm and symmetric. Okay. Now I select the cut and control select the issue 001 and I cut it. Next I go to the curve bench. I select this curve over here and turn that into the joy curve. Come to this side, doing the same joy curve. Yes, I go to the prime workbench and use the loft tool to loft between the joy curve, uh, the small eclipse, and the joy curve 001. And I click OK. Now I uh, drop this one down and I hide the first, uh, the uh, cut 001 and I click on the cut and I show it. I control select the cut and the loft and I go to the prop, split and then slide prop. I select the center one and hide it. Now we have the handle. Next, I will create the thickness of uh, the bottle. To do that, I go to the drop workbench. And I select the slide and use the contour. I go to the data scale and set it to 0 0.95 for S1Z. Now I go to the I select the slide and move this one up in the z-axis. Uh, go to the placement and position the z-axis. Move this one up to three. But as you can see, uh, the clone still go outside of um, the bottle. So we cannot use the clone to cut this bottle. So we need to fix this area. Now go to the sketcher workbench and view the wireframe. Let me rename this one, the clone, uh, to the cutter. I select the cutter and go to the appearance and set the light color to uh, green. Right and um, the outside, which which is the bottle, uh, the light color will be red. So we need something to cover both uh, of the the green and the red light. I create a new sketch in the front and just draw an eclipse and start from here. Go outside. 
like this and let's bring this one in a little bit something like this and I select this line and I set the distance uh, 70, uh, 71 select this line and set the distance uh, let's try 48 select this line and this line and set the angle uh, 13 okay now I select this uh, point and I hit A and set it to 127. Select this point and I hit L. 15.3. All right. That's good. Now close that. <clears throat> As you let the sketch use your five, go to the private bench and it's through this one to 100 and symmetric. Okay. Now I control select the cutter and it is true and I cut it. I view the, um, the flat line. Okay. All right, so next I will select the slide and hide it for you to see the inside uh, the cutter. And I also want to make this area uh, longer. So I go to the uh, drop workbench and I go to uh, utility and select plan and uh, select the top plan. Now I select this face up here and go to the GMS tool and move this one up just to match this one up go to the front field and let's uh, move this one up you can see it's too much uh, let's type in here um, 20 enter all right now i control select the cut 002 and it's true and i go to the power bench and union them together now we're ready to cut. Now I select the slide and I show it. And control select the slide and I select the fusion and I just cut again. Now we just create um, the thickness of the bottle. Now I select this one up here, the surface. And again, go to the drop bench and use the team mesh tool. And go to the front view and uh, let's try in here 15, enter. And also select these two, go to the private bench and union them together. Uh, now I hit shift B to select everything and hide. And also want to um, show only the fusion 001. Now I can fill up this guy. So I can draw select this edge. These edges. Something like this. And I fill it with one. Okay. Okay, so now we just finish um, modeling the shape of the bottle. So thanks for watching.